wait for this to turn on and I'll start the video the second time okay okay here we go the live stream for the second time okay I did this live stream a minute ago just finished it up and checked the sound and I'd had it wrong so it's just echoing there was like a double speaker effect so that's all well and good in the okay, okay. previous video the uh, bad version I uh, created the bot now I'm about to show you but this time I'm going to walk through it a bit faster because um, the, the last stream that I've done was an hour long okay with that being said let me just check that i have everything right this time i think everything is good uh, we're good to go uh, check yeah boy okay what we're doing first of all um, i'm streaming i've decided to do live streams quite regularly this is the first one well this is the second attempt but um, of the first live stream i'm using a platform called uh, dlive if you're watching uh, on YouTube, then I'll put the link in the description. Come and join me over at DLive. Why I'm doing some of the streaming on DLive is because I like the whole blockchain technology kind of thing. And some of the videos that I'm going to be doing um, are kind of a black hat. I'm going to be, um, be doing some stuff in the future that I, I don't think is really suitable for YouTube. When I say black hat, I mean I'm going to be doing like mass page creators and, and some of the things that are kind of uh, on the, the dark side of bot creation. So nothing illegal or anything like that, but um, like, like I said, uh, like page creators, CTR bots, etc, etc. So I wanted to keep that on the DLive platform. With that being said, anything like this video and a lot of the videos will be uploaded to YouTube as well. But come and join me too on DLive. I'm going to be giving away a lot of free content on there, answering your questions live. Um, if, if I'm in the mid middle of building a, um, a bot like this and you have a question, I can build out a script for you quickly and send it over to you. I'm also going to be producing content that um, are giveaways for you to practice uh, yourself. So it's really worth you, if you're on YouTube or a different platform, joining me also on there. You can sign up for free for DLive. You can even use your YouTube um, login details to log into DLive, this platform here. Yeah, so definitely come over and join me. Now, with that being said, let's crack on. Um, what I'm doing, I've had permission from the person I'm doing this for to show you at least some of the design the last video I did on YouTube was um, handling the other site for that I got halfway through but this site needs to be pushed out first it's called deep book deport and basically what I need to do is scrape all the books that are on the platform okay I took a look at the site so I've already created the box so I'm just gonna run through it because like I said I'd already done this stream but yes the demo gods were not pleased with my first attempt to live stream stream so uh again i'm getting paranoid now let me just check everything's good yep right yep we're good okay so the site book depot how are we going to do this so what i did is luckily for us browser um browse all books is an option on here and what i was gonna do like in the previous video if you're watching on youtube is scrape all the categories Okay, and then from there, scrape all the books. But I found that one, it has a, here, how many results, there's 10,000. And if you just go to the next page, you'll see that the URL structure is really good for us. We've got forward slash store browse, and then we have page, and it has the page number, okay, which is great for us. Because if we put three in here and hit enter, you'll see that it goes to page three. Of there and the URL after this, the rest of the URL is just the size of how many pages, uh, how many book URLs are on each page. So in this case, it's 96 and it's sorted by title, meaning it's A to Z, which is perfect as well. Now, the whole idea of the bot is the first step it's going to scrape all the book titles, okay, and then put them into a database. And the second part of the bot is then going to take each one of these URLs and it's going to go to them. Like, let's just go to this one, for instance, 
and then we need to scrape the title and the image and the author and all the good stuff everything that you see on the, the page including the overview as well okay so the bot's going to kind of be done in two parts so let me just get rid of this um also, actually, while I had that on, the, in the description is the link if you want to come and join us on the Discord channel as well. So crack on, come over, say hello, and ask all your questions there when it comes to the bot design. So let's have a look at the script that I wrote, and then I will go over what it does. <clears throat> I, I, this was a blank script when I just did the uh, stream, but like I said, it messed up, so I messed up, I should say. So let me go over what the script does, how I set it up, and then I'll run it, and then I'll take you um, a bit deeper into how it is done. Uh, yeah. So again, apologies that I'm not building it live in front of you. I already did it. I'm not going to start all over again. <laughs> so the first thing I did is I set up a variable, script logic, and then I made a variable, set variable, and it's called page counter, and it's going to basically be the counter for what page you're on. So at the mid, at the start, it's at one, okay? And then I've made a while loop and I've set all the other code inside that while loop. And I'm saying while the page counter, in this case under four, just for the demonstration. So while, while the number's under four, then run through all this code. Now the first thing that the bot does is load up the page. Like, let me show you. So here we have, if I go back, sorry. If we come here, we'll see that we have the URL, and then like I showed you, you can change this where it says page three. I could change it to page two, and it will go on to page two. So what we're doing with the bot is we're using the URL structure here, and we're changing where it says page equals. We've put in the variable called page counter. Okay, so here the page counter the first time this runs is set to one. So this, where it says page counter, is equal one, okay? And the second time it comes through, you've you guessed it, that'll be a two. So this will change to two, and so it'll be shown all the books that are on page two, and so on and so forth. So it loads the page, then it grabs the page HTML, the source code for the page, and what happens next is it runs a regex, okay, I, in the first take, of this uh, live feed I showed you how I did this okay um, I'm gonna sh I'll go over it briefly at the end but it, it does a regex and also on my YouTube channel or if you've got the course a shameless plug check out the link in the description get the course I go into detail into regexes it's quite a long subject it's quite a complex you can do such complex things with it it's basically what we're doing is we're taking the, the source code of the page and we're running a regex uh, or a pattern and we're saying anything that matches this pattern then scrape it and put it into a list so that's basically what we're doing so we take this source code anything that matches this regex then scrape it and put it into a list and we called that list list of book urls so basically come to this page anything that matches in this case i want all the links to the actual books anything that matches Put it into a list called uh, list of book URLs. Then I'm removing any duplicates. If in the first video I ran through it, there wasn't any duplicates. In the end, it took me about three or four different attempts to get the correct regexes. That was quite a thing. But luckily, you haven't got to endure me going through that in this take. Once we got rid of the, the duplicates, we've done a for each loop, and we're saying for each item in this list of books that I've scraped, then insert it into a database which i'll show you in a minute and then log out the uh, link so put to the log here what the link is if you're a bit lost with all this um the, the streams that i'm doing aren't for total beginners okay there's lots of free videos on the website click the link in the description all the other youtube videos if you're on youtube okay um this ain't advanced stuff, but it's also I, you know, if you're watching this, then I presume that you've got Browser Automation Studio on your computer and you've ran through some of the free videos, um, so you've got kind of a gist on what's going on. So for each one that's on this list, 
put it into the database and then log it out so we can see it here in the log. And then what we're doing is after it's done all these that's on that page, then we're blanking out the list, the list of uh, book URLs, we're blanking it out, we're making sure it's clean, then we're increasing the page counter by one. So then the bot's gonna come up here to the start of the while loop and it's gonna say, right, is it still under four? So one, then plus one, so it's on two now. Two is under four, yep, so run through this again. But then it's gonna load, this will be two now. So it'll be page two that's gonna load and then it's gonna go through the same process and then it's going to increase the counter. Then we're on three, is three under four? Yep, and it's gonna run through again, but this time on page three and so on. So I built a database, again, unfortunately, because of the first stream, uh, which I built it. Basically, I went to show database, edit scheme, and then I just, there wasn't a table, so I just put uh, add table, and then it was called book URLs, and then I added a column, press add column, add. So we only need one, for the first section of this bot, we only need one column, and that column is called book URLs. Okay, so that's where the stuff's gonna go, the URL, so I hit save, close, and then if we come back to show database, and we go to the database manager, this is from the last video, you'll see that it has results in, but I'm going to delete all these. So I'm gonna select all, and then, uh, then delete, so it's clean, like so. So I hope that makes some sense, guys. It's not really as in-depth as the first take of this because <clears throat> I actually built the bot out, damn it. But I just wanted to go each over each one of the steps. So basically, make a counter, set it to one. While that counter is under four, then go to page one in the first instance of this, and then get the page source code, look through that source code for this match of this regex, anything that matches, put it into the list called list of book URLs, okay? So then once it's done that, it's going to delete any duplicates, okay? And then for each one that's in that list, it's gonna put it into the database and it's also gonna log it out. And then after it's done all of these, it's gone through anything that it finds, uh, sorry, it's gone through every single one that's in the list, then it's gonna clean that list blank. The reason it does that, because when it comes to going again, and it's on page two, that list would still hold the items from page one in it still. So we would just keep, we get a lot of duplicates, okay? We'd just, the second time that it runs, it would grab every, already have the stuff that was on from page one, in the list, and then it would keep it in, into the database. So that's why we use the remove part and from list of book URLs, so our list, and from zero to a thousand, I put clean, so just to make sure it's clean, and then it increases the counter, and boom, it goes back through. In this case, I've just put it to, because it's under four. So I'm going to save. I'm going to show database, database manager, it's clean. So let's just run this. Okay, it's loading the browser up, going to page one and boom, there we go. Then it's going to load page two, grab everything. There you go, well, we've done it quicker than expected. So then if we go to projects and then show database, database manager, you'll see that, see that all them URLs are into our database that we made. Okay, only shows the first, a uh, few in the preview and that's it guys um, I'm sorry that this uh, this stream isn't very uh, live uh, very in depth um, I did as I keep banging on and telling you I've, I've already done this live I thought everything was good but that wasn't the case um, yeah so I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna do another stream soon and carry on because what I'm gonna do while I'm off stream <coughs> excuse me is I'm gonna scrape all the pages. So I've got them 10,000 in the database because that's what we need to do for the first step. Then after that, then the second part of this is gonna be a lot more in depth um, because one, 
I'll have the stream running properly. Uh, so you'll see me see me build each step. But what needs to happen once we have all these links into the the database, like so, then we need to visit each one of these links. Okay. And let's just pretend it showed you anyway. This is one of the links, just say this is one. So it's gonna come in here and then it's gonna we need to build I think I'm going to go for regex again for each one of these. So I know in this video I didn't show you me building the regexes because of the failed stream. But in the second part of this, you're going to see me build regexes for everything that's on here. Uh, we need to grow everything from the title of the book, the binding, the author, <clears throat> the price, okay, um, and yeah, the available quantity, everything, basically everything. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Again, uh, link. Uh, look at the links in the description for the website and all the extra stuff if you need a bot created or you need some one-on-one -on -one tuition and all that good stuff. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then join us on uh, DLive. Make sure, sign up. You don't need to make a payment or anything. It's all free. Just be a good way. I'm going to start doing giveaways and kind of like uh, helping you guys live. So if um, I'm in the middle of a stream like this and then you um, had a question that I could quickly just open another copy of Browser Automation Studio and then uh, I could answer your questions or any other coding questions that you have. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.